Hey guys, it's Jess. Uh, today I wanted to talk about doing cloth diapers at daycare. We use a daycare center. We don't go to an in-home daycare. And so I'm just going to kind of go over how we approach the subject with them, the type of diapers we use, how I pack it and send it up there, how I take them home, etc. So we're just going to get started. We go to a daycare center that starts at 18 months. They don't do baby babies. So I was keeping Killian at home for the first 18 months and working at night. And my mom would help me um, as well. So he started at the center when he was 18 months old. They had already kept Peter for like a year and a half, two years. And so they were very familiar with our family. They were very comfortable with me. And so I walked in and I kind of told them Killian's skin sensitivities and what we were dealing with, with his food allergies and everything like that, and approached the subject of cloth diapering. And in the state of Oklahoma, I don't, I think it's in our laws that you can't refuse somebody for using cloth diapers. I'm not really sure how that works, but I know that our state laws allow it and have guidelines for daycare centers when it comes to using cloth diapers. So they were familiar with the subject, but they hadn't had a baby have them in a really long time. And so they, most of the people working in the back were not very familiar with how they worked and how that would go. So what I told them I would do is I told them I would come up and meet with them, bring the diapers with me, kind of give them the options of the type of diapers that I had and have them pick which ones they liked the best and kind of go over how to use them with them uh, before he started. So I did that and the ones they chose, the ones they liked the best, were the Kawhi pocket diapers and the Thirsties Duo All-in-Ones. And I thought honestly that was going to be it anyway and I, I want to say the guidelines said to pick diapers that were in one piece and the pockets count as one piece because you can stuff them and they're still a one piece diaper so like the flips the pre and covers things like that wouldn't have worked so these were the diapers that they chose and these are the diapers that I'm currently using with them I also just recently started last week doing a double stuffed bum genius for nap time I sold most of my bum genius diapers I held on to four of them because I couldn't sell them for some reason I could only sell the other the others. So uh, I still had four Bum Genius left and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with them. I was about to sell them to a friend. But then we were having problems with night with nap time leaks a lot and so I decided that I would double stuff a Bum Genius and that way they looked different than the other diapers so it was blatantly obvious which ones were nap time diapers. So that's worked out really well for us. So if you have you know, if you send a certain brand of pocket diapers, but you want to have another specific brand or a specific color, I was on it. At first I was considering doing like buying a few white kawaii's just so it's always the white diaper is the nap time diaper. But I ultimately decided just to go with the bum genius because I already had it and I didn't have to buy any extra. So that's what we do for nap time. And those are the diapers that we take with us. I also send a wet bag. This is actually my favorite wet bag. I love this print, but this is the Kanga Care wet bag. And I love these wet bags because they hold so much stuff. So even if they're there all day or, you know, she can actually put dirty clothes in it too. If his clothes get messed up, the clothes can go in here as well. So I, I like these a lot better than the typical like travel diaper bag, wet bags that are about this big. These hold a lot more stuff. And I have probably four of these. I have a lot Be because I'm sending them almost every day and we need, you know, extras for the diaper bag when we're out and about or, you know, if I accidentally leave one of grandma's, we're not completely screwed. So I also send a wet bag. I made, because I'm crazy, I made these for the daycare, little diaper care cards. And so I took the, the diapers that they chose, the Kawhi Pocket diapers, and I kind of gave directions on how to put them on, like how to do the snaps. And I also said like what the diaper included. Oh, I meant to add, I put the liners already in the diapers. That way when they open them up, the disposable liner is already in place for them just to make their lives a little bit easier. So I do that. Then on the back of each card, like this is the Kawhi pocket where I talk about how to put the diaper on. And then on the back, I talk about disposal and how to do the, the pocket diaper. I don't tell them to take the inserts out just because I can just do that at home. It's no big deal. So I kind of just say, you know, for the wet diapers, just put them in the diaper pail, no big deal, or the wet bag, no big deal. For the soiled diapers, what I have them do, and I don't have any with me, is I have those little blue disposable bags you can use for disposable diapers, and I have them kind of wad up the wipes. I use disposable wipes. I send disposable wipes to daycare. I figured they wouldn't want to deal with cloth wipes, and frankly, I don't want to spray off cloth wipes that have been sitting in a wet bag for a long time. So anyway, 
but what I, I have those little blue disposable bags and what I have them do is I have them kind of ball up the liner and the cloth wipes in one of those disposable bags kind of like I did in the vacation video how I talked about how I did uh, soil diapers on vacation on the go like in the airports and at amusement parks I kind of go over that in my travel traveling with cloth diapers video but I have them kind of do the same thing because they have a diaper uh, champ that they put the diapers in over by the changing table. And so that would be easy easy to ball up and kind of tie in the bag and just put in the diaper champ and go. So that's what I have them do with the soil diapers. And then if there is more, like if the liner didn't do its job and like the poop was a little bit more runny, I have them put the diaper in one of those blue bags or like in a Ziploc bag. I used to do Ziploc bags and then the Ziploc bags ran out and she's just been using the blue bags and those work out fine. Um, have them put th those in the blue bags before they go in the wet bag. That way I know which diapers I need to spray off and it also doesn't get poop everywhere all over the diapers that don't need sprayed off. So that's what I do for soil diapers. But then I also have a card for the Thirsties diaper, like how to put that on them, what all that includes. And then I have disposal of the all-in-one diaper. And so again for the wet diapers, although on this, all of my thirsties that I send to daycare are Velcro, are Aplix, because um, that's what my husband prefers. He likes Velcro diapers. So I, you know, kind of give an illustration, and this was from a blog, Cheerios and Tricycles. I thought I'd give them credit for the photo. Uh, kind of how the tabs need to fold down on the diapers so they don't get confused and re honestly they forget to do it all the time and it's no big deal I can just do it but that way in case they want to know they can look at that and then I have the same directions for the wet diapers just put them in the pail for the soil diapers same thing use the the blue bags or a ziploc bag and then I also made another card for diaper rash treatment and then for everyday use I send the little Grovia stick I have that in his drawer and then for more serious rashes, I usually send the Honest Company Balm. I've started using that instead of Grandma L's. The store that, the one of our local stores was out of Grandma L's one day and the Honest Company Balm was all they had and they said that was probably the most compatible. I started using it and I absolutely love it. And I don't know if I'll ever go back to Grandma L's honestly. So started using the Honest Company diaper rash cream and that's what I send or I send one of the tubes of the coconut oil like in my uh, coconut oil video I make a tube of that just in case but with the daycare they have to have like directions of like what's like ingredients like a list of ingredients that's in it and so I just figured it was easier just to send a store-bought like an honest company or grandma L's or something like that and I have them I have pictures of everything on here so they don't so they can actually you know Look at the diaper, find the card that matches the diaper. Like I said, I'm insane. I'm crazy. I realize this. But a lot of cloth diapering moms I've actually talked to have actually asked me if I could make these for them. So they really like them. They actually were wondering if they could buy some. Uh, so if there's an interest for that, if you guys like these, uh, I might look into doing it, actually. I really liked making them. I thought they were fun. And the teachers so far have really liked it. The, his main teacher doesn't really need them anymore at all. And she didn't, she didn't really need them from the beginning. She was really good about learning. But every once in a while, they'll have, you know, subs step in. And it's always nice to tell them. I was like, you know, look at the cards in his in his drawer and that'll tell you how to do the cloth diapers if you need a refresher because a lot of them don't have them every day like his main teacher does. And I also use these for like church nursery. I'll have uh, copies in the diaper bag so that way if somebody has him that's not too familiar I'll be sure to have these diapers packed in the diaper bag with the care cards that way they can reference these and be able to take care of them more easily. Um, I pack everything up in like a reusable bag like this bagu, or you can use maybe a Target sack. I just think it would wear out after a while. But I pack everything up, and I usually send, I usually have about, he has a drawer. I usually will try to keep five or six diapers in his drawer total with the nap time diaper included. I can get away with four because I usually drop them off around 10 or 10 15, and I usually pick them up around three. 30 ish. I change them right before I drop them off. So he doesn't need to be changed right away. And uh, so they don't really go through that many. But for the most part, I try to keep six in his drawer total with the nap time diaper. So at the end of the day, when I pick him up, I'll kind of look in his drawer and do inventory and um, do diaper math, as I like to say. I always look and I'm like, oh, I'm just doing diaper math. And I'll look and I'll add up how many I need to bring the next day. And then the next day, I will bring that and add it to his drawer. And put this bag up in his little cubby and then when I come pick him up I grab the wet bag full of diapers put that in the bag and go home and so that that's it it's really been simple they haven't given me very much trouble about it they've 
it's been it's been really nice I really and actually it's funny a couple of the women who work there have actually asked me a lot of questions about cloth diapers like where to buy them and if there's any more information that I can give them about them because they're considering actually doing it themselves for their next child so I've kind of uh, I've kind of shown them uh, what cloth diapers are all about so that's been kind of fun to talk about that with them and to get them interested in cloth diapering so uh, that's about it if you have any questions about using cloth diapers at daycare please leave them below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible have a good day bye bye